Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to another Writing Wednesday. And today I want to do something a bit different. Instead of just kind of standard writing advice, I want to introduce you to a few of my main characters from my upcoming debut novel, The Crimson Gods. As you can see here, I don't know if you can see this or not, this is the third draft now finally printed out. Almost done here, a few more chapters to go. This is uh, the version here that's ready to be sent off to be edited. And by the way, the Indiegogo campaign is live. That will be linked in the description below where you can support uh, helping the cost of editing, cover art, and all that good stuff as well. And first, let me give a huge shout out to Ertach Altanaz, who did this artwork for me. It looks amazing. It's really, really helping to bring this to life. Of course, some of you guys in the Game of Thrones community may know Ertach uh, during the seasons of Game of Thrones, and he still does, by the way, turning characters to whites, etc. Even the actor who plays the mountain has a tattoo of Ertach's artwork on his arm. And Ertach actually turned me and several other YouTubers into whites, as you can see here back in the day when Game of Thrones was still the thing. So a huge shout out to Ertach. I really appreciate it. Uh, glad to have him on board with this project. And I will link Ertach's Instagram and DeviantArt page in the description below. So anyway, let's jump in and meet three of the main players from the upcoming fantasy novel, The Crimson Gods. Ashea Black Sun, or Ash, is the only daughter of the former king, William II Black Sun. She has a twin brother, Merrick, and an older half-brother, Sirik. Ashea was born a princess, but her father abdicated his crown when she was only a few years old in favor of a ruling council, but she never really cared about political issues. Ashea currently lives in the castle of Wolfpine in the kingdom of Vegamar, the capital of Osgoth. She enjoys hunting and hawking and became quite proficient with not only a sword, but prefers a bow. When younger, her and her brothers would frequently head out to the wilds of Vegamar in northern Osgoth for adventure, as she occasionally likes to escape the confines of her keep. Ashea loves her family and wonders about the mother she never knew. Ash is a good person that cares about what others think of her, maybe a little too much. She's also a bit of a playgirl, and she's been known to break a few hearts. This likely stems from when she was younger, being considered a tomboy, others would pick on her, sometimes even calling her Fat Ash, until her protective brothers would chase them away with their training swords. Over time, she became a good fighter and even better bowman. As she has matured, all the boys sought her attention in a different way, and she kind of enjoys it. Ashea can be stern and a bit harsh at times, but she considers that a strength as she doesn't believe in sugarcoating words. Sometimes this may come across as being insensitive to others, but she will bite her tongue when she needs to. Ashea simply wants to find her place in this new world. People close to her still call her princess from time to time, and it makes her realize she has no real place or purpose, but at the same time likes to simply live in the moment and could care less about traditional roles like marriage. Amari Doxider, or Doc, is the best friend of Sirik, the older half-brother of Ashea and Merrick. Amari is originally from Athoria, the largest kingdom to the northeast of Osgoth. Athorians are all considered to be descended from the Ghazi, one of the original clans, so typically have no surname. His father Amaru, however, took an honorary name, Doxider, as William II, the king at the time, granted him lordship because he stood with him in a battle known as the Last Rebellion. Amari spent his childhood in Vegamar growing up with William's eldest son, Sirik. Amari trained in sword, lance, and spear, and was educated alongside Sirik, then the crown prince. Amari currently lives with his sister Abana in a small keep in Waterside Landing in southern Vegamar. Amari has a good heart, he's proud, intelligent, a deep thinker, and cares deeply for family and friends. He's also honest, sometimes to a fault, witty, and loyal. With that said, Amori can be a bit gullible, can be illogical and emotional, and he doesn't like to say no to people as it could disappoint his friends and family. Amari simply wants to live up to his father's legacy and not screw it up so he doesn't take too many risks. He just maintains the simple life of being a fisherman since his father's death, as his father Amaru left Athoria to escape politics and theism because he had always loved the sea. Sirik Blackson is the eldest son of the former King William II Blackson. He has two half-siblings, Ashea and Merrick. His best friend is Amori Doxider, although he doesn't see him as often as he used to. Like his siblings, he still lives in Wolfpine, trained with sword and spear, but really doesn't understand why his father would abdicate his crown. Sirik was born the crown prince, and it drives him crazy when some people still call him that. He thinks of what could have been had his father decided not to start this great council. Sirik does, however, have a good heart and is loyal to his family. He still tries to look out for his sister Ashea, although she really doesn't need much help anymore. Sirik is really not sure where he fits in this new world and questions his purpose. However, he does want to support his father and make him proud. With that said, Sirik can be a bit of an asshole at times, still trying to live a prince's lifestyle. At times, he resents the whole situation. So in the last few years, he's become a bit more of a playboy, just living day to day and generally just not as personable as he used to be. Unlike his half-brother Merrick, he hangs out in nearby brothels and isn't ashamed of it. 
So anyway, there are the three primary characters I would say. I'll let you decide who the MC may be when it comes out, but I'm really, really excited to introduce these characters to the world in some way, and hopefully you can see some of these personalities and a little bit of depth when the book actually comes out. And again, a huge thank you to Ertach. I really appreciate this. All this artwork will be uploaded to Patreon for people to have there as well. And it is available as an add-on in the Indiegogo campaign. This is high resolution digital artwork that can be printed out really, really badass. And you'll definitely see this artwork being printed out and put back here in frames very, very soon. And once again, the Indiegogo campaign is live. It's essentially pre-orders for this book and it helps support paying for all the editing, cover artwork design, as well as a voice actor for the audiobook. Anyway, guys, if you dig what I do here, please give these videos a like, comment, and a share. Be sure to subscribe to get everything and click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.